Have you checked out Change Cars yet? That's the website where you can find your next car because they only list cars from franchise dealers giving you total peace of mind. That's changecars.co.za. Hey, what? Oh, we're back again. And he had a third eye growing out the middle of his head. Yes. Kia Saltos. Kia Saltos. I had one for a whole week. You did. Funny enough, you didn't even let me drive it. I you didn't. You selfish little lad, you. And do and, and you know what the most you know amazing what? thing about that I'm, car is? I'm getting, I'm getting it next week myself. The diesel. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting the diesel one? I think so. Well. I think so. Try and see if you can get the mm. fuel gauge to move off the full bit. Because <laughs> it took a long time. For you. It took a long With time. With you driving. I was averaging under five. Wow. Left under foot, five. Under five. And that thing is also not exactly, yeah. you're talking about mm. weights these days. Yeah, yeah. Cover. It's 1340 mm. something odd kilos, okay. somewhere around about there. So it's not light. And that's the, okay, so what's the engine output on this thing? Oh, gotcha. You got me. Gotcha. <laughs> 115 kilowatts. Yeah. Was it 81 kilowatts, 150, 165 newtons. Okay. Somewhere around about. All right. So not massive mm. quantities and of what's power. And what's seven speed dual clutch? Six speed. Six, six speed, speed dual clutch. Yeah. Okay. And not dual clutch. It feels like six a normal auto. Okay. Normal auto. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There was a little bit of me that says. Because there are quite a few of the Kia's have got the dual clutches now. That's why. And quite a few of them. Well, mm. quite a few of them have, a, have, have CVTs. And I was yes. thinking, this is a CVT mm. box and these don't make any sense, but it's actually just normal six speed. Okay. Talk about it. Nice. As nice. As far nice. as I know. Yeah. So, look, Santos, I have to tell you, is selling up a storm it at the is, moment. Eh? And you can see why. It yeah. is actually, forget about the numbers. Mm. The numbers mm. mean nothing in terms yeah. of the actual performance of the mm. thing. I sat around at a robot or two, and there may have been the odd occasion where, you know, and it, it really doesn't, it doesn't let the side down. It's surprisingly nippy if you, if you, if you just yeah. let, well, there's let, 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 let foot for you. There's lead foot for you. Under five litres, <laughs> you'll see what you get when you get. Yeah, well, um, so okay. surprisingly, yeah, hang on. is this now a challenge coming up? Surprisingly punchy. Well, I've won every other one you've given me. So mm, I'm happy. Yes, I beat you on the I beat you on the on the on the um, on the Civic RS. I beat you on that. Mm. I beat you on I think the memory is not so good, but there was another there was another mm. little diesel we had. I think it was the quid. Anyway, yeah. the quid before we what? Before we before we get before yeah. we get mm. bogged down yeah. in the details. Yeah. Okay. Um what I loved about this mm. car is the way how Kia have grown up. I know, look, we've they gone, have done, we've gone across their range. Yeah. Really, if you look at, from the Picanto, basically, okay, mm -hmm. and there's a new Picanto coming, eh, have you oh. seen? Yep, being launched overseas, they're talking, I don't know whether it'll get here this year or not, but gee, you want to talk about growing up, you yeah. can see how the Picanto's grown up. Uh, I, I don't know where it's going to go price wise. This that's is a question mark. Yeah, this is a yeah. good way and a bad thing. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the Celtus is yeah. half a bar, give or take. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And you don't get climate control. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, this is on a Kia. Hang on a yeah. sec. What's mm -hmm. going on here? Mm -hmm. You know, normally you'd, you'd, you'd have toys coming out the wazoo and these things. Yeah. And it seems that mm -hmm. now what mm -hmm. Kia have done, so part of the evolution of growing up, is the fact mm -hmm. that they've established themselves as a quality brand, they've established themselves as a as, as here mm. to stay. Yeah. They've got a seven year warranty, they've got all the mm. all, 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 all the yeah. stuff in it. And that's obviously coming in at a price. And when you see the quality of ride on the Celtos, you can mm. see where they're spending their money now. Well it's and the ride, it's the build quality exactly. where these things nothing shakes, rattles or rolls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I also think that they 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 they've got a lot more model ex model expansion. So if model yeah. creep has crept in, you can buy a lot of different models. If yeah. you want climate mm -hmm. control, you can find one with climate control. You will and you'll just so pay, you know, you'll shut out a bit more. There's the question mark, and that one I can't answer but, right now. But, but now you're you're, you're mm. now dealing with a Kia. It's a yeah. It's becoming a premium brand. No, look, they and yeah. Well, and that's what I really enjoy about them. Doing brilliantly, it's, it's, brilliant, yeah. it's it's and you can mm. see why. You can yeah. really see why. You know, Another so. thing is their cars are looking sharp. That was where I was going with this. Yeah, thing. Are, is, yeah. from the front those yeah. headlights. Mm. It's unmistakably Kia mm. or KM. I mean, <clears throat> Marketing 101, guys. <laughs> 101. No, not 10 1. 101. Kia, not KM. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, you, you, it's, it's straight away. You mm -hmm. can see that that. Yeah, no, no, it is. It's, that's look, the Kia. Well, it is, well, look, if you now go it's got to presence. pretty much all brands today, and this is something I do like, mm -hmm. is the, bre the family mm -hmm. faces, mm -hmm. as practically everybody is now. Developed and adopted, am I yes, right? Through yes. their ranges, and 
Yeah, we were just talking Fiat 500, 500X, yes. where from the front, there is no question they are both the same brand. No doubt. Now, that goes across Kia. It goes across, as I say, most brands now. Yeah. But what is nice is, that, and particularly, I think they changed it, what, about a year ago, that new logo of theirs with the new, the way even the word Kia, the 3D almost effect oh, of it <laughs> across the front. Yeah, it looks modern. It looks good. It really does. And I think in, in, in a lot of ways, even the script they're using for Kia now, yeah, the first few times yes. I saw it, it was like, what's that? You had to look quite, you had to kind of squint a bit to get it, but it's going to be one of those things. Mm. I wonder if this new Kia mm. thing is going to, if, is it going, if, it's going to be one of those, it's probably mm. going to last for the next 20 years. Yeah. So it's going to be gone next gone, year. Yeah. But I think <laughs> it looks classy, quite honestly. I don't mind it. I don't mm. mind it. But I, I, once, once you've seen the can, once you've seen yeah, but, but, no, but, but the, thing, the thing about it is, to me, it goes with that step up in class. It does. I mean, you know, yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah, but... it, it really does. And that's where I think they've done a good job. So, look, let's, we're talking Celsius itself. So, it's, yeah. so it's, it's a crossover SUV. No, but hang on. Ish. For the door hatchback. No, 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 it's not. It's, it's, it's almost a, you see, no, I mean, we really. It's falling. You get, you get, you get hatchback. You get little hatchbacks. Then you get B-segment hatchbacks. Then you get crossover SUVs. This one has grown almost a little bit more than a crossover SUV. It's, it, it's a small SUV, which I'm saying is bigger than a crossover SUV, if I'm making sense. You are kind of. It's, it, but, you know, it's, it's... I'm saying it's grown a bit the, beyond the, a crossover the, SUV. The lines are becoming very... No, they're, they're so good. Yeah. No, it's but sort of like, if, if I look at the cars I put into the crossover SUV category, yeah, this one's... Because, come on, the Sonnet is the crossover SUV in the car. Uh, when you, when you, when you, when you yeah. put it like that, you know, mm. it's, you're exactly right. And it's kind of, it's, it's mm. in, in its own little class. It's yes. bigger than the Sonnet. Correct. Um, and, mm. you no, know, it's, it's up to you. I, yeah. I, when you say crossover SUV, mm. I have absolutely no problem saying you can drive that thing on dirt roads all day long. Hell. It's all the cows come home. Totally. And if you get, if you get stuck into some mm. uh, occasional more rockier stuff, I don't think that car's going to have a problem. Well, look, you've got yeah. enough ground clearance. You've got yeah. a bit of articulation on the axle. Did that one have the terrain selection? No. no. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I have to ask you because you know, this is where, again, the lines are so blurred, blurred between, between models. models yeah. You get one that does, one that doesn't. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? Uh, but look, it's definitely a family-orientated vehicle. For sure. The boot is big enough for definitely, I would say, a family of four for mm -hmm. your holiday. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, you can pack in there. You can you pack can. in decently. And you've got, of course, if you want a two-seater with extended load area. These are the things that matter. Yeah, no, it's, it's a, it's, and, and it's mm. a practical car, you know, so yeah. it, it, it really is, is, is oriented around, mm. I think, doing half a million kilometers before you throw it away and get another one. <laughs> You know, and that's and that and that's genuinely where I think it's aimed at. It's well, not that's a throwaway it's, society. It's today, not. A, isn't it? It's not a trendy. It's not a trendy car. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get from mm -hmm. A to B in, in in the same style that a BMW is going to get you there. But yeah, but at, you at, know, you're talking price. Well, even and although you said at five hundred thousand, it sounds like yeah. a lot of money these days. With, with, let's get realistic apples with apples when you, when you when you're comparing with where mm. where everything else is in the market Correct. you know it is good value and, well, that's the point, and, yeah. and that's where kia is aimed at it's a good sensible purchase it, yeah i think that that's a, that's a good point sensible purchase mm. it mm. really is it's the guy who or woman who and with that fuel consumption <laughs> settled down a little bit got the one or two kids now Although, they want it and uh, look you know me in my book don't even bother with the petrol versions. Diesel, diesel, diesel. That's it. Sorry. Yeah. SUV stuff, body style. What else except diesel? Yeah. So, oh, there you go. Yeah, I mean, that makes yeah. sense. It does make total sense. Kia, I think you got a winner there. No, I, th I, I think so too. You'll see another video in about a week or so's time <laughs> when I'm done with mine. <laughs> we'll see what color yours was. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We'll leave it there. From us, we're out of here. See you next time.